Avis Crocan was the cook here at Audley in 1881. We know that from the census taken in that year. We don't know when she started, but we do know when she left. I'm Dr Annie Gray and I'm a food historian. I specialise in British food and dining from about 1650 to about 1950. Avis almost certainly came to work here at Audley End through a network of servant contacts. It was quite possible for a servant to find a new job through an agency or through looking at newspapers, but normally with the aristocracy it was all about word of mouth. Lord Braybrook, of course, sat in the House of Lords in the British Parliament. Back here at Audley End, it was more about fun, games, shooting, parties, all the life of the country house. So it would have been extremely busy. Because Avis was at the top of the tree, as it were, she would have been able to get up slightly later than most of her staff. The scullery maid, Annie, would have got up first, probably around half past five or six. By about half past six, all of the kitchen maids would have been present in the kitchen, getting on with whatever they needed to do, before Avis made her appearance in the kitchen somewhere between about half past six and seven. The first thing that all of the servants would have done would have been to prepare the upstairs breakfast, as well as breakfast for the servants themselves. different groups of people, the lower servants, the upper servants and the Braybrooks themselves, not to mention of course the nurseries if there are any children around, and they are all having four different meals four times a day. That's a lot of food for the people in the kitchen to prepare, and there were only four people here in 1881. So the kitchen here was not a sweet little scene of domestic bliss, it had to be absolutely efficient. Think of it more like a factory than like your kitchen at home and you wouldn't be too far off.